video my dear students today we are going to deal another topic the distribution of water and land on earth on the earth you very much know there is balance between anything in your life in your work in your everything in your activities in anything if there is no balance it seems to be in a what dilapidated state in a hardly barely manner all six is in seven like that but each and everything in our life even you buy vegetables 1 kg there is a 1 kg of what 1 kg of wheat likewise on earth there is balance today we are going to discuss balance between water bodies and land bodies although if you are talking about the percentage of water bodies and land bodies there is variation but on balance balancing way where there is water opposite side is what land bodies this sorts of thing like in a balance there is a one side on weight and another side on quantity or things which you would like to buy like that in this video we are going to deal antipodal balance between antipodal means where there is land and on the opposite side there is water bodies with this concept we are going to discuss and visualize on this model of earth that is globe is that really true first and foremost evidence is on northern hemisphere you can easily understand what is northern hemisphere there in between the sphere of the earth there is a equator zone and from this equator to north pole there is a northern hemisphere look at this just think about the cadbury gems chocolate ball if you see it out what is this on one hand there is a northern hemisphere and on the second on the another hand you have southern hemisphere like that this is what northern hemisphere and this is southern hemisphere just look at this almost all the continents concentrated in northern hemisphere almost all the continents this continents 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 means land bodies almost concentrated in northern hemisphere and just look at this on the southern hemisphere all the water bodies concentrated in where southern hemisphere look at this almost all okay so this is one evidence secondly we can see this is what african continent which is bigger continent and opposite to this continent we have what just look at this opposite to this what is this this is pacific ocean this is pacific ocean okay so this is another antipodal balance between water bodies and land bodies one more example one more evidence the evidence is what on the arctic circle there is a land bodies but on the antarctic circle there is a water bodies so this is also a region and this is the region and one more thing 
if you mix all the continent together you have almost all most triangular in shape of the continent likewise if you mix all the uh, water bodies that means ocean we have also almost triangular triangle triangular shape of the ocean so this is also proof of the antipodal balance between water bodies and land bodies with this if you would like to know apart from this evidence there is one more evidence i would like to put it in front of you before of you which is there is the highest mountain peak on himalaya everest and there is a on pacific ocean there is the mariana trench which is the highest trench highest deepest trench across the globe which is also which can also be a evidence of antipodal balance so with this i hope it is clear what is antipodal balance and what is the evidence how many, uh, how we can prove it there is the balance between water bodies and land bodies on earth it is asked so keep knowing all the facts and uh, just write down all the th